welcome to my youtube channel before we even begin anything i would like us to say a quick prayer heavenly father we thank you tonight we bless you we worship you and father we just thank you father you have brought us this far in this year we begin the year with many people we begin the years with a lot of stars we begin the year with, with a lot of people who have money but have been dead father if the viewers that are listening to me tonight and me are alive then we thank you father we worship you we give you all the glory adoration and honor most of us drove to work today but because of your traveling mercies we are back home safely most of us are healthcare workers but because of your loving mercies and just you loving your children 24 7 father we have we have been able to return home without having the coronavirus father you protect our families every day <coughs> father even with this coronavirus thing going on you keep protecting us you keep loving us you keep just fighting for us and we just say thank you father we worship you we give you all the adoration we thank you for seeing us through all these years father most of us have been alive all these years and father we always say that we thank you father not many of them can be even be alive right now i begin my years with a lot of friends that have been dead that have died that have been shot but if father we are still alive tonight all i'm saying is that father we thank you we thank you for seeing us through january all the way to december father we thank you for the good health we thank you we give you the glory the praise and adoration let us all say amen so tonight is going to be very short and brief I have been led by the Holy Spirit to start a new, uh, what to call it, more of like a presentation to review or to reflect the years as we enter into 2022. 2021 has been a weird year and we all cannot testify that. People have died. We started a year with coronavirus. A lot has happened this year. A lot of people we know have died. Chad, Pop Smoke. All these rappers have been shot. But one thing I want you to think about tonight is uh, reflect upon your life. We begin 2021 with coronavirus, something that we all know of. Yet you're still alive. Yet we have lost so many people this year. Ask yourself, how are you still alive? Ask yourself, why are you still alive? Ask yourself, what spirit is keeping you alive? Sometimes we human beings forget that we are we walk with the mighty God. Sometimes we forget that we live under a big umbrella of blessings from the almighty God. I'm telling you this tonight. No matter how bad your life is, no matter how bad your situation is, no matter how bad things have been for you this year, if you have life, you have hope. Let that sink in for you tonight. Just think about it. If you have life, you have hope. We know so many people right now that are buried six feet on the ground who wish they had your life right now. You might not be the richest person alive. You might not be the prettiest person alive. You might not be the tallest person alive. You might, matter of fact, even be homeless right now. But think about it. Why are you still alive while people who have money have been dead? People who have money have been shot. But why are you still alive? It's all by the power and the mighty grace of God. I'm not here tonight to tell you to choose God. But what I'm here tonight to tell you is that end the year with prayers. Because usually, as the years end, we lose a lot of people. And you and I cannot testify to that. Just look about it. For the past three months we have lost so many people in this world so many stars so many people athletes the part the Maris, like people we know who have money who enjoy them lives who don't have any problems that we can think of have all been dead this means that as the years progress towards its end death takes its toll on people but ask yourself why are you still alive Ask yourself, what is keeping you alive? Ask yourself, who is the man who constantly fights for you spiritually? It's the Almighty God. So I'm going to keep this very short and sweet. End your years with prayers. Thank God. Thank God for seeing you through all this year. Like especially, coronavirus has ruined a lot of things for us. 
Even if you had coronavirus, you're still alive. And if you know anything about the physiological aspect of coronavirus or how it affects the body, you will know that it's by God's grace that if you had coronavirus, you're alive. Most people get it and they die. Most people get it and they end up on a ventilator. Tonight, I'm telling you that you are blessed. Father God has blessed you. He has given you life. You can breathe through your nose. So end the year with prayers. Thank God. Thank Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Keep giving them thanks. Keep giving them thanks. And also start praying about 2022. 2021 might have not been your year. Yes, we know people suffer. We all go through problems. People are looking for marriages. People are broke. People are dying. Some people even got shot. Some people even got laid off from work. Someone has been looking for a job for the last eight months and they still don't have a job yet. I'm here to tell you that do not be dismayed. If you have life, you have hope. If you have life, you have hope. What I want you to do tonight is that within the next 10 days left before the new years, stop praying. Thank God for how far he has brought you. And stop telling God that God, within 2022, these are the goals that I want to achieve. And watch God perform a miracle in your life. My friend, if you have life, you have hope. Don't be influenced by social media. Don't be influenced by what people are doing around you that you wish you could do. Don't be influenced by wow, the rich lifestyles of these celebrities. Don't be influenced by the things people are doing that you can't afford to do. Rather, keep your eye on the Bible. Keep your eye on the goal. Keep your eye on the word. And let God lead you on the path. If God knows that he's, if God knows that you are going to be useless, he would have killed you a long time ago. But ask yourself, how are you still alive to this day? I mean, with everything going on, you still have life. And if you have life, you have hope. So I'm telling you tonight, start thanking God. This slide is going to be very short. Start thanking God. Thank him for how far he has brought you. Thank God for how far he has brought you. And constantly keep thanking God. Just thank him. And also start praying that 2022 will be your year. Amen. New Year's always filled with joy, happiness. It's a new year. We all have new goals. We go to Times Square. Or we spend the time in a club. Or we spend the time with family just partying away. Or just counting down to the New Year's. One thing I want you guys to do, again as I said, is to end 2021 with prayers. And begin 2022 with prayers. Prayer is the key to life. Without prayers, you are nobody. Prayer is going to strengthen you. Through prayers, you'll be able to communicate with your maker, which is God. Through prayers, you'll be able to get the answers you're looking for in 2022. Through prayers, you'll be able to get what you need in 2022. God will not come from heaven to come and give you what you need, but rather through prayers, He will touch His servants. He will touch the king's heart. He will touch your manager's heart. He will touch your friend's heart. He will touch your mom's heart. He will touch your dad's heart. He will touch your friend's life. He will touch people to come and to give you whatever you're looking for. He will touch people's hearts to do the good you are looking for. Some people call it luck, but I call it through. I call it the blessings. I call it the favor of God. I call it the mighty hand of God working upon our lives. Some of you guys are looking for marriage. Some of you guys are looking for husbands. Some of you guys are looking for things that no man can give you. But it's true Christ. So I want you to reflect again, as I said on the last slide, end the year with prayers. Stop praying and thanking God for how far he has brought you in 2021. And as the prayers go on, start asking God for things that you need. Ask God for things you need. Instead of you picking up your phone and calling your friend, Hey, Abigail. Hey, Mia. Hey, Jasmine. I'm struggling. I need this. I need that. Rather, put the phone away. Stop praying about 2022. Start declaring the things you need in your life in 2022. 
Start asking God for things you want in 2022. Start demanding the things you want spiritually. 2022. Any spirit that is a barrier between you and your blessings, start breaking them down at the end of 2021 before you get into 2022. Through fasting and prayers, you shall receive the answers you're looking for. Through fasting and prayers, you shall receive the answers you're looking looking for. I'm telling you right now, do not be dismayed. Someone might say, oh, I went through 2021 struggling, hurt. I've been through a lot of pain, so I'm not going to pray. Who is God? Is God, even, is God even alive? Yes, you have every right to think about all these things. But at the end of the day, ask yourself, what's the difference between you and someone who has cancer? What's the difference between you and someone who is in the hospital who cannot breathe? What's the difference between you and someone who is in the morgue right now, frozen, to be buried this Saturday, which is Christmas? What's the difference between you and someone who hasn't done anything wrong in their lives? What's the difference between you and a newborn baby who just came into this world but is going to die in the next two minutes because they can't breathe? There's no difference. We are all human beings. Matter of fact, we all are we are all sinners. But for some reason, these people unfortunately have to go through the tough part of life. And most of them even end up dying. But for some reason, you are still alive. And that's because God is giving you a chance to repent your life. God is giving you a chance to basically get closer to Him. I'm telling you this again to tell you that, listen, life is not easy. But in fact, life has a lot of trials in it that we will continuously face and face as we are alive. And that's why someone, what someone once said, to have troubles in life means you are alive. So be blessed, be, be, be happy that you have troubles. A life with no troubles means someone who is dead. A person who is dead has no troubles because they can't hear anything anymore. But someone who's alive is going to have troubles. So if you have troubles, be grateful. If you're not in the ICU tonight, if you're not in the hospital tonight, if you're not in the morgue tonight, if you're not in the coffin tonight, my friend, my brother, my sister, thank God. Going back to the second slide. Start thanking God. Start blessing God's name. Start worshiping God. And start declaring the good things you want to continue your life in 2022, which is the New Year's. It says, Happy New Year's. Everyone says, Happy New Year's. But what is happy about it? If you are basically going to struggle the whole year. But I'm here tonight declaring that 2022 is going to be your year. No matter whatever has been lost out of your life. Or no matter whatever has been taken out of your life. Stop praying and let God give it to you in 2022. You shall not be the same. As I end off this PowerPoint, God is the way. He gives life. He protects. Why are stars being shot but you're not being shot? He knows tomorrow. He knows what's going to happen to you tomorrow. I don't. You don't know either. What you do is that you sleep at night, wake up in the morning, and get back to your grind. But he knows what is going to happen to you tomorrow. Telling you this right now. Give your life to Christ. End the years of prayers. Thank him the most. Thank him for how far he has brought you. But no matter how bad your life is, you might be going through a divorce. You might be going through pain, heartbreak, promise and fail, losses. Some of you have been laid off. You give him thanks. Because if you are alive, you have another chance to make things better in your life through God. What I'm going to leave you with is end the year of prayer and start 2022 with prayers. That's it for tonight. Let God lead you. Please let me know if you guys want more motivational uh, slides and recordings. I'm a man of God myself, and I love to help people. But this is the first step I'm taking to basically using the knowledge and gift that God has given me to impact people's lives. Because we need prayers. And with prayers, things will change. Through Christ will there be life. And with life... There are many opportunities. And with opportunities, my friend, 
You can never go wrong. God is with you. Let's say a short prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for this short word. Father, I originally was going to just make this a PowerPoint and talk about 2021 and how or what year, what the year has been like. But you changed the ways tonight. You basically impacted a new knowledge into my head just because of your children. Father, I pray that whoever listened to this PowerPoint tonight, whoever partook in this PowerPoint tonight, shall be a blessing in 2022. I pray that within the next, within the few days left of 2021, anybody who listened to this PowerPoint, anybody who partook in this PowerPoint, shall basically have life and shall see 2022. No one is going to die of accidents. No one is going to die of cancer. No one is going to die of attacks. No one is going to die from any car accidents. Nothing. No one is going to get shot. Father, I basically wash all your children with your blood. Protect us all. Guide us in God and let us see 2022. And God, if 2021 was our horrible year, I pray that 2022 will be a blessing upon all of us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.